Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. And in today's video, we have Mariah Carey with us. She's very, very pregnant. And we want to talk about some of the signs of when a rabbit is pregnant, how can you tell they're pregnant? And how can you tell that they're going to have their babies very soon? So this is... Uh, Mariah Carey, she's had a bit of wool that's just coming off of her, the top of her head, so she kind of has, she's losing it in different chunks, so that has nothing to do with her being pregnant or not, but out of the signs, this is a massive, this is one of the big signs. She's in an exercise pen in our house and that's what I call the maternity ward and you can see how she's breathing. This is very heavy breathing for a rabbit. This is not how a rabbit normally breathes. I'm sorry, I don't know if I said breed, but this is not how a rabbit normally breathes, not breeds. There's a lot of effort you just observe and if you just watch there's a lot of effort that goes into to simply breathing so another sign is her belly if you pay attention ever so often although you see her moving because of her breathing you can also see different movements in her wool that are distinct and there were just some over here but those movements are of the baby bunnies and it, you'll kind of see, you can kind of, depending on what the baby bunnies are doing depending on what the baby bunnies are doing, you might be able to see a movement that's really sudden so you might notice like a section of wool kind of bumps, bumps up a little bit or you might notice like right over here, there's kind of a gentle, ever so often, a gentle movement in the wool. And what you, it's very, very small. The movements aren't big, but you can see them. They're happening right in this section. And what you're seeing is you're seeing the baby bunnies simply moving around So the large belly, being able to just observe your rabbit and watch the breathing and just watch her belly, you can tell there's, I can feel a baby bunny right here moving around. I simply place my hand on the side of her tummy and if you, if you time it just right, oh, there's a kick, you can actually see the baby bunnies and this is only going to be visible when the doe is very near the end of her pregnancy, which is what Mariah Carey is, because she was bred June, I'm sorry, she was bred May 5th, and so she's going to have her babies incredibly soon. So we're just gonna spend a little bit more time. I'm gonna try and show from a different view if we can show you the movement. So I just got in the pen with Mariah Carey and you can just see her breathing. One of the, oh, there's a little twitch right there. That was a baby kicking. There's a movement up here a little bit. Whenever you see those movements that aren't, um, that aren't from her breathing, and your rabbit is very pregnant, that's that's from the baby bunnies. 
sometimes I'm not quite sure if it's easier to tell with a full coat of wool like this um, or if it's easier to tell when when it's a shorter coat because sometimes the longer wool depending on how it's laying kind of acts like a wave and really accentuates the movements from within and, and sometimes it doesn't seem to especially with Germans if you have Germans the coat is so thick that it can be difficult to difficult to observe um, baby bunnies but if you think about it for example in humans when humans are pregnant often the the female if you stop and pay attention and you look that you oh, there was just a big movement right there um, if you look, you can see towards the end of the pregnancy, a lot of, when the baby is moving, you can actually see the movement through the abdomen. And it's the same in rabbits. And this just simply takes a quiet, quiet time and quiet observation. Oh, there's another kick. So... That twitch was my twitching. So again, I can feel right here. That's her, that's her tummy. That's, and um, although you can feel her breathing, when you simply just place your hand on the female rabbit, you're not pressing, you, you're not pressing hard. Oh, there's a kick up here. But you just simply place your hand there and you can feel uh, the baby's moving. And this is easiest when, again, when it's very close to being due, which she is. If you feel, if you feel your dough and you, you feel her tummy and you can't feel anything, that doesn't necessarily mean she's not pregnant because baby bunnies do sleep too. And, and when they're sleeping, they may not be moving more or they may be awake and they simply may not be moving much. But just like with human babies, they go through periods of movement and activity and periods where they're not moving and there's no activity. And right now her babies are incredibly active and simply just placing a hand on like this is just one way where you can verify the pregnancy. You can tell that the bunnies are definitely moving, and they're there. So some other signs, some other tips about a doe who's pregnant. She has a lot of green grass in here, and then she has dried grass in here. This is her nest box, and in the back she's built a nest. She also put some of her green grass in there, which um, the fresh grass, which I typically don't prefer, in a nest box because I don't like moisture in a nest box. It can lead to bacteria growth and it can lead to mold growth, all sorts of things we don't want. And this is Mariah Carey's food dish. So she has not really touched her food this morning and that that's a good indication to us when, you're, when your rabbit isn't really eating much that um, it's highly likely that they'll be having their babies soon. So you can see a very large protruding belly right here, part of its wool. And also towards the end of the pregnancy, you may notice a change in the size of the rabbit's droppings. So this is a dropping that is not in, that didn't make it into the box. Um, this is a bit larger size dropping. This doesn't happen with all rabbits, but if you start noticing all of a sudden your rabbit's droppings seem to be a bit different in size, they seem to be a a bit larger, that might be a good sign that your bunny is going to be having baby soon. And here's another sign. So in the back tail area, it is just a little bit wet. And when a when a rabbit is quite pregnant, it and they have a very large, very large abdomen, it is difficult for the rabbit to continue to groom themselves. And so this is something we have to monitor, but also. Um, this is not to be confused with obesity. So 
A rabbit that is obese will also have the same problem of grooming their back end area. You'll, you'll, if you actually watch the rabbit who is pregnant or who is obese, you'll notice that when they kind of turn to try and access the back end area of, the rat, of their body, that it seems like they have to really provide a, a strong backwards mo movement and to try and get there and they struggle to reach and struggle to actually maintain with their head back in the position. So that's, that's just another tip or indication that um, it could be pregnancy, but also if, if you're rabbit, if you know they didn't breed, that might actually be obesity. And obesity in rabbits is really something we don't want. Now there's, there's just one more thing, and that's when I place my hand on here. I know she's quite close to having babies because um, a previously soft abdomen, you might actually feel it quite, it, it feels more firm, and it doesn't have the same feel. For example, if you were to feel a, a buck it does not. It does not feel the the same. This is a more firm abdomen. This isn't. Uh, this isn't a normal feeling abdomen. When I simply go like this, I actually. Uh, there's a bit of wool, but if I press a little bit, depending on where the babies are, I can not only feel the bumps, not only feel them moving, but literally, you know, I feel that firmness and can feel a baby. There's a baby right here. I can just feel it with my thumb. And it doesn't, when you do it, when you practice and you do this, it doesn't take a firm touch. Eventually you can just, if your rabbit is the proper weight and your rabbit is not obese when you've bred your rabbit, and if it's not, in Germans it is more difficult because they do have more wool, but she's not, she's only partial German, so her wool is a bit thinner, so it's, you know, it's a little bit easier to feel through. But Practicing and really spending that time with your bunny and really practicing um, just how they feel gives you a great indication of when they are pregnant, what to expect and what to feel for. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you've hit the subscribe button and you've pressed the bell. That way you get notified of all of our videos. And we hope to have a update with Mariah Carey and her baby soon.